Hey, it's a risky shot, but can we make it? Are you kidding me? Wait, there's an achievement for that? Uh, yeah, I guess there is. So it's late, and this is gonna be one of those late night episodes because I wanna try something that I saw on Austin John Player's channel, and with my luck, it probably won't work. I'm Choctopus, and welcome to MTV Cribs. Uh, I don't really have much. I got this foosball table that my wife gave me. I got two Nintendo Switches. Here's a rug. That's the earth. Okay, that's that's my house. I'm sorry it sucks. All right, let's see. What do I still owe Tom Nook? 45,000 bells. And clearly, I'm broke. So we're going to go on an adventure, and we're going to redeem 2,000 Nook miles for a ticket. Listen up, you bastard. You, look at Look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm gonna escape this financial death grip you have on me, and when I do... It, look at- look at me! It's totally cool that this airport is just kinda open 24-7, and you can just hop on a flight whenever you want. That's... definitely efficient. So, basically what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to clear this entire island of every single thing on it. Trees, weeds, rocks, everything. And by doing that, we're going to be able to spawn only tarantulas, so I can hopefully pay off this mortgage and then have a safety net because I know the next one is coming and it's going to be bigger. And if I don't pay it, my knees are going to get broken. And tarantulas, as you know, or I guess if you're in the southern hemisphere, scorpions sell for like 8,000 bells each. Is it 8,000? It's somewhere around that. It's a ton of money. Whoa. Was that lightning? Uh, am I in danger? I mean, surely Nintendo wouldn't show a villager getting struck by lightning and dying, right? We're not gonna see a villager die tonight, right? Maybe humans really are the problem. Here I am coming to a deserted island, just minding its own business, and my only goal here is to completely deface it of any sign of life. Okay, so... Unfortunately, I ended up on the bamboo island, so there were a lot more trees that had to be cut down, and I'm lucky that my axe didn't break, because then I'd have to craft another one, or I'd have to use some miles to get one. But once all of the trees are gone, we're gonna have to de-stump. That's right, every single bamboo's gotta go. All 50 of these goddamned sticks in the ground. I'm not religious, but this island is looking pretty... Holy... You see, it's funny because there's holes in the ground and what I mean by this is a lot of work for one person. Also, don't forget about the coconut trees. You're gonna wanna get rid of those stumps too. And then once we have all the trees and the stumps, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to pull every flower and every single weed. Does this count as an exploit? Because we're not doing anything illegal here. We're just making it so the game can't spawn anything but tarantulas. I mean, it's not like I'm a filthy time traveler or anything. And for those of you who have time traveled, let me know down in the comment section. Why is your soul dirty? And we got a bunch of coconuts, which is good because we're gonna need them to shatter these rocks. So uh, if you're on an island with other fruit, I mean, here we only have a couple coconuts, which is fine. Um, if you end up on fruit islands, you can eat those oranges too. It doesn't matter or peaches or whatever the hell you want. It's kind of weird how you can eat a fruit and then take out an axe, and then you can just, like, destroy rocks like Hercules. See, look, they're already starting to spawn. But before we do that, let me just get rid of the rest of these. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, God, this is actually pretty scary because, uh, I don't like spiders. They literally call it Tarantula Island, which is what nightmares are made of. So basically what happens is once everything is plucked, the game has no choice but to spawn tarantulas, because if there's other flowers, they're spawning other bugs. And then over here you have these roaches, so you want to kind of scare roaches away. If there's any grasshoppers or whatever kind of jumping around, you want to make sure you scare those away. I tested this with my wife's island on the spiral island, and it also worked. And then you should see tarantulas spawn every... About two minutes or so, uh, I saw two of them, and I don't know where they went, so I'm just gonna have to run around in circles until they come back. Oh, and another important thing, if you want to make the most money that you can, 
on one of these, then you're gonna take everything you just picked up and you're going to throw it on the floor off to the side. All right, so all I currently have left in my inventory are two nets, so let me tell you, if Gulliver washes up on this beach, he's gonna have a field day with all this. Okay, then uh, we're free to fill up our pockets with spiders, which is something that I never want to do in my life. What kind of episode of Fear Factor is this? All right, there's our first. So hopefully we can get him without him stinging us. Come on, just come here. All right, we gotta trap him. Oh God! Yeah, and then uh, if you faint like that, you go right back to Wilbur and he's like, oh man, you fainted. Okay, are you good? Walk it off, pal. Now I probably should have mentioned, if you're having a hard time, you can kind of create this fortress of holes and you can lure them around here and then they won't be able to get you, but you'll be able to get them. So if you're like me and you're bad, you can uh, just make a hole barrier. All right, scare away these gross roaches. Get rid of you. And there should be one right over... Oh God, there he is. Just stay right there. Just, just stay right... There we go. And we got one. Okay, I saw another one, so we need to... We gotta get him to chase us. There we go, watch this. Ah, not so tough now, big hairy idiot. I'm really lucky because I feel like this might be the most ideal island to do it on just because of the shape and... It's just... It's easier because if you're on the spiral island... Oh, don't... Oh, help! As I was saying... Oh, no, we jumped... Oh, why would you do that? So as I was saying before I got completely murdered was... This might be the most ideal island to do it on because of the shape. If you end up on the island that has the spiral river in the middle of it, you gotta be careful because the tarantulas will actually jump in the water because they're idiots. All right, here's another one. Let's get him. Boom, there we go. Locked and loaded. Oh no. Oh crap. To overly simplify what we're doing right now, we are hunting and catching spiders to pay off our mortgage. Oh, here's two of them. Oh, that was all skill, baby. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Now we're getting good at this. Come on, we're raking in the money now. Or the spiders. Look how disgusting it is. If you have arachnophobia, it's probably a good idea for you to not watch this video. But then again, we're, we're too deep now. We're far too deep into this. Come on, where are you, my little dollar signs? It's like a jump scare. When I see one, it scares the hell out of me. Oh my god! So, oh jeez. Oh. Oh. This is a horror game. This is the closest that you're going to get to watching me do a playthrough of a horror game. This is it. Come on, scare the roaches away. There, little creepy crawlies. You know what? I don't care if this is an exploit. Because this is totally worth all the money that we're making right now. I'm risking my life out here. I keep seeing a hole. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh my god. I keep seeing a hole, and I think it's the tarantula, but it's not. So, what's gonna happen first? Am I going to fill my pack with tarantulas, or am I going to have a heart attack? I'm getting the chills. I'm like itchy all over the place. Spider-Man, on the other hand, is my favorite superhero, which is the absolute definition of irony. Are tarantulas that fast in real life? If they are, then, oh, hell, come on, man. I mean, who willingly says they want to go to Tarantula Island? That's no vacation I ever want to go on. You know what the hilarious part is? Once they're trapped on the other side, they can't do anything to you. So you can trash talk them if you want. Why do I hate myself, you ask? Good question, but it doesn't compare to my hatred for being in debt to Tom Nook. And how badly I want to escape the stranglehold monopoly that he has on this island. So that's another trick to make it easier. If I were to somehow trap this one over here and more spawned, they wouldn't be hostile towards me because only one can be hostile at a time. All right, that's the last one. So we are completely maxed out on tarantulas right now. Unfortunately, you can't get rid of the net, so you can hold a full bag minus one. And now we're gonna get the hell out of here. Later, loser. Now, the best time to do this is obviously after seven o'clock because that's when tarantulas start spawning. They don't spawn during the day. You have to wait until nighttime to do it. The downside to that is you have to wait till the following morning to sell your tarantulas. Otherwise, you gotta pay an additional 20% by using the drop-off box. He's running a complete scam. 
So in the meantime, just take all your spiders, you are now the spider lord, just throw them on the ground, build a fortress, I don't know, do whatever the hell you want with them. This is the ultimate line of defense. Like, who's gonna mess with you if you have a tarantula wall? Yeah, come over here, come with me. Over here, to my wall of spiders. Oh, present, thank you. Do you want a tarantula? Now, this isn't really the type of content I do anymore, so I'm not gonna be doing a bunch of how-tos, but if you wanna see me play Animal Crossing or other games, I also play a lot of Smash, uh, you can subscribe to the channel if you're not already. In fact, if you made it this far in the video, you are legally required to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I don't make the rules here. So hopefully this helped a bunch of new players and we will see you next time.